Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is an amazing DIY leave-in conditioner that can help you grow your hair faster and also give you guys increased thickness. So if your hair is thinning out or just seems to be lacking volume, trust me, after you've used this leave-in conditioner, I promise you that you will notice that your hair will have so much volume. It really helps to thicken the hair and can also help to speed up hair, hair growth. So if you're interested, please be sure to keep on watching and make sure you watch till the end so you don't miss out on any useful information. And um, yeah, let's hop right into the video. Okay guys, so our first ingredient will be some ground coffee. I got this from my grocery store. If you got instant coffee, please feel free to use that as long as it's got caffeine in it because essentially it's the caffeine that is the active ingredient in the coffee. Now, coffee helps to stimulate hair follicles and also can help to speed up hair growth. The caffeine also helps to improve the blood circulation to the scalp, which in turn allows nutrients to reach your scalp more efficiently and this can result in quicker and healthier hair growth so i used about one tablespoon of coffee and then i added some hot water and i'm just going to allow it to infuse while i prep the next ingredient so next we have some flax seeds now flax seeds helps to thicken the hair guys it adds a lot of volume because it contains protein so flax it can help grow your hair faster and longer by providing the nourishment that your hair follicles um, actually need it also contains vitamin e which provides nutrition for the scalp and helps to reduce free radical damage so i used a few tablespoons of the flax seeds guys and everything will be in the description box down below as far as measurements are concerned next we're going in with some fresh rosemary now rosemary also has been shown to help a lot when it comes to stimulating new hair growth just because it increases the blood flow to the scalp which just means it brings more nutrients more oxygen to your follicles which can in turn help to speed up the high growth process so i added a little bit of the um, rosemary to the flax seeds next i will be straining the coffee into the same pan in which we have the flax seeds and the rosemary because we'll be using the coffee water to boil the flax seeds so because i'm using coffee powder i prefer to use um you know a, a paper towel from the kitchen just because it just allows me to remove all of the powder essentially i find that when you use the wig cap because the wig cap has like you know tiny little holes sometimes some of the powder can get through so if you've got a coffee filter it will be absolutely fine to use as well um if you want to use a wig cap guys you may have to double it so perhaps try doubling it and it can help you prevent you know any of the powder to get into the mixture so after we've strained the coffee into the pan we're going to go ahead and pop it on the stove and allow it to boil for just a little bit now i realized that the water was a little bit too small guys so i'm adding some extra water just because you know um it was not going to be enough to boil this so if you want your overall mixture to be really thick then perhaps don't add as much water and also allow this mixture to boil for a little bit longer so until it's like properly reduced essentially you know it's ready when your water becomes slimy just like i showed you guys there so you want to turn off your stove and we're going to go ahead and strain it while it's still hot so for this i'm using a wig cap just because the flax seeds are a bit larger and is unlikely to get through um, so just pour the mixture on there while it's still hot it just makes the process of straining just that little bit easier you can still strain even when it has cooled down but just bear in mind that this will become a gel so it might be just a little bit harder to strain but it's still doable 
so this is what it looks like while it's still hot so it's still in its liquid form and once it has completely cooled down we should sure allow it to cool down guys before using it turns into a gel and trust me this thing is really really good when it comes to giving your hair moisture and also you know just helping with your hair thickness so i'm going to be adding just a little bit of glycerin in this but again feel free to use avocado oil rapeseed oil even olive oil that's all you have now the thing with glycerin is that it helps to draw the moisture from the atmosphere into your hair guys so it's really good at just keeping the moisture in your hair so i used a little bit of that and i'm just mixing everything until everything is nice and combined and then we're going to go ahead and transfer this into a mason jar so this can store in your fridge for up to two weeks guys depending on your fridge temperature or you can make batches if you want to and freeze and defrost and use as in when is needed so if you made it to this point of the video guys and you still haven't liked it please go ahead and give the video a like i would really appreciate that because it really helps my videos out so here it is very simple easy and quick to make yet super super effective so in the next slide i'm going to show you guys how to use this and talk a little bit more about how often you can use this as well to see results so keep on watching okay guys so now we are on to the application process it's very very simple you would use this as a leave-in conditioner or as you would use any other leave-in conditioner so usually i work on my hand sections just because it makes the process just that little bit easier for me and also it just helps me to minimize unnecessary um tangos which can then lead on to breakage essentially so after i part this small section of my hair i did just a bit of finger detangling and then i'm working this throughout my hair so i'm going to make sure that the whole hair is saturated so from the tips all the way to the end you can also apply this to your scalp guys it doesn't really give you scalp build up like that so it's really really good in that regard so yeah apply it to your scalp so you can reap the benefits that this can provide for you when it comes to like just giving you a nice healthy scalp which is super important when it comes to growing healthy hair so after I finish working it through my hair guys I'm going in with a wide tooth comb to properly detangle my hair now the one thing that you're going to find while using this is that detangling is super easy and not a lot of hair falls out at all so it's really really nice in that regard now flax seeds in general also can help a lot when it comes to thickening your hair so if it's used on a regular basis you will most definitely notice that your hair is getting thicker now the one thing you have to be aware of is that it contains protein so if you're protein sensitive guys please do not use it as often so i would say listen to your hair usually your hair tells you exactly what you need so the thing with protein overload is it has the opposite effect so instead of giving your hair volume and you know helping with hair growth it just breaks like your hair gets super dry and it just breaks which is essentially not what we want so that's why it's important that you make sure that you're not protein sensitive sometimes it's better to do a patch test first to see how your hair reacts to this now i would suggest that you use this once every week if you're not protein sensitive or once every two weeks if you are and essentially just repeat it on a consistent basis and i promise you guys you will notice that your hair is getting so much thicker so this brings me to the end of the video i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching if you did please thumbs up the video also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching until next time bye